Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the box model of the CSS. In this video, we're going to talk about the CSS box model. All the elements of HTML are considered as boxes, right? Just consider them as a boxes. And the box consists of the four different parts. The content, the padding, the border and the margin, okay? The content of the box is where the text or the images appear. When you just use the paragraph element and you don't add padding, border and margin to it, that visible part of the text or the image is the content of that uh, box, alright? Box consists of a four different parts when all of these things are added then you have the whole size of the box padding clears the area around the content the padding is transparent the margins are also transparent okay and the border that goes uh, around the padding and the content let's just see how it looks first you have a content then above the content you have the padding and above the uh, padding you have the border and after the border you have the margin so this is a box okay this is the css box model and and you treat each element as a box okay all right you can see here the simple html text now i'm gonna describe what is the box model okay it is kind of related to the sizing of the element all right when i just add the text okay uh, i just added a simple tag let's suppose we have the width of 300 pixel to our div element but when you add padding overall padding okay and we have already covered the padding topic okay so, so i just want to add a uh, 20 pixel to the padding now you can see that when i just added the padding it increased the width of uh, your element so if i just remove it again now you can see the width of the element is 300 pixel all right but when i just add the padding okay it just increased from 300 pixel and now if i just add margin to it for example i want to add the margin of 10 pixels it will also increase the size of your dive element okay as a whole dive element not just as content and the last thing we have is border so let me add the border right now border and in border is 15 px so this is the border the green color is your border you would see the difference that when i just edit the border it also increased the width this is the box model right now okay in a box model we have the width we have the content size padding margin and the border if i just describe the size of this dive element it would be you know more than 300 so let me just calculate it so for the width 300 px for content and in width we will consider the left side and the right side all right and padding we have added the 20 pixel it would be 20 pixel from the left padding and as well as the 20 pixel from the right padding so after that we have added the margin and we know that padding and the margins are transparent you cannot see the padding and the margin but you would definitely see the change in the size of that element for margin it would be from the left and the right side so 10 from the left 10 from the right 10 px left margin 10 px right margin so it would be 20 pixel so now we have the border as well 15 uh, pixel from the border so from the left side and the okay why i'm just taking the left values and the right values because the width is only affected by the left values and the right values okay so if you just want to you know calculate the value of the height so you would consider the top and the bottom values so 15 px left side of border 15 px right all right it would be total 30 pixel so now we have the width of the content width of the padding margin and the border now we can calculate the width of our box let me just add the values here 300 plus 40 plus 20 plus uh, 30 it would be 390 pixels all right Okay, so this is how you add the values uh, to the box, to the element. So when you add the padding margin and the border to your element, it always increase its size, its width size and as well as its height size. Uh, we just wanted to know about the width of the element. So this is all for this video. If you really find this useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye-bye.